I came to America in 1976 and I was seven. I was a very isolated kid. And I turned to books really as consolation and as a community, and it never occurred to me that I would somehow one day make books. It was such a latent wish to make books. I love the writing. I really enjoy it. I don't ever feel blocked, which is a very weird thing because I've produced so little <laughs> in terms of final publication, but I write all the time. I love the choosing the verbs. I like moving the sentences around. I love research. I love talking to people. So I like going to the field and figuring out how people lived and what things smell like. That's a real joy for me. I'm interested in history, politics, democracy, capitalism. I'm interested in religion, the absence of religion, what kinds of things we make idols of in our lives, the failure of dreams. Like These are big, big, big questions that I'm interested in. Being a professional artist, that's really, that's really hard. So I try not to think of it like a profession. I think of it as I make art, and if one, somebody calls me an artist, it's great. <laughs> but it's a mantle that I think it's hard for women. It's hard for women of color, very hard for women, women of color to feel that they could take that space. But I try. I try also for the sake, because I meet young women all the time, and young people all the time from working class backgrounds like me. And it takes them a really long time to say, I'm a working artist. The Nifa Grant was such an extraordinary, eye-opening and humbling moment. That recognition was translated into very practical things for me. My son was very young at the time, and I wasn't making any money as a writer. I got childcare. I was able to think more deeply about my work and also to write things in quiet. I needed to have this kind of support that somehow what I did mattered. And that was so important to have NIFA recognize that my little question was worth supporting. And I think that when the average person in this country thinks that art matters, that's a huge step because it is so often seen as less important than food and housing and jobs and healthcare. And all those things are really important to me too. But I chose this path because I think that literature can create the level of empathy that many things cannot. I, I believe that. I believe that with everything that I do.